Okay, let's look at how to set up a recurring meeting in your Zoom. So you go to your account, you go to your meeting tab, schedule a meeting, name your student. Let's say this is for Sue, also known as Elsa. Private lesson. And I want her to begin on Monday. And then her duration of her class will be the 30 minute zero. And her time that she'll start for me is 2 p.m. And this will be a recurring meeting. And I'm going to be doing it, let's say, weekly on Mondays and Fridays. And end date, I will put up further. I'll just say to the 30th. So every Monday and Friday, she will get this link. It's going to be a recurring link. She has her security passcode. This will be, put her in a waiting room. If it's just her, I don't, I don't use that. Because I'll just, that's, if you unclick, then she can join immediately. And you can mute her upon entrance. It's a private student. I don't mute them upon entrance. And then you click save. And what you will send now, what I do now to do to make sure that I remember who this is, I copy it and then I go to my Google Calendar. And you see here, she's here at two. I'm going to add the link. I'm going to edit. And the link for her will be in the location. Control V. And I'm going to save for this and all following events. So now every time I have her, all I have to do is get to my calendar and then I click and that will open the meeting immediately. Hold on one second. Should be showing. Let me just refresh. So then when I have my student, I click here. And if it doesn't, then it's not saved right. So let me redo this. I must be missing a space here. Okay. Save. This and following. Okay. Now let's try. There. I was missing a space. And automatically I, I get prompted to open the meeting. And that will open my meeting right away for me. So first, <coughs> I'm going to save it on Zoom. Then copy it and save it on your Google Calendar. And then anytime you meet with your students, you can see each student has their link attached. So I just press the student's name and I click here and that takes me to their meeting. So I don't have to go to Zoom again. So this is how you save a meeting in Zoom and then into your calendar.